Hi everybody, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is how to back up your Minecraft folder using a free backup program called F Backup. That's F for Frank and Backup. And as you can see, I am at the F Backup website. So go ahead and load up your browser and shoot on over to fbackup.com. Again, this is a free backup. It's very limited, very basic, but it works very well. It's reliable and I've been using it for a couple of years personally for quick and easy backup jobs and um, I wholeheartedly recommend it. So once you're at backup.com go ahead and click on the free download button. It's going to download the setup file. Go ahead and click on save. Now I'm using Windows 7 here with Chrome browser. Yours may look a little bit different but the principle is generally the same. You'll download the setup and then execute it. Okay, if you're using Vista or Windows 7, you may get this prompt to user account control. It's a downloaded program. It's okay. It's virus free if you download it from the right spot. Okay, so we're going to follow along the prompts to install it. I've already installed this on my computer, so I'm not going to complete this setup process but just follow along keep clicking next until the process is complete and F backup starts up so I'm gonna go ahead and run F backup now it is a very reliable backup program it does have a scheduling function for this demonstration I'm just gonna do a one-time manual backup it does not create multiple backups. In other words, it doesn't do a full and then do differentials on, on you know every day or every other day. It just does a one backup. So you take your one folder, you back it up, and when you're ready to do it again or when the program runs again, it does the same thing. You can purchase their upgraded product. I think it's 49 bucks or something, and you can do daily incrementals rather than full backups. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Right now, let's just get started on our backup process. All right, when the program first starts up, you will see this little pop-up window, and we can just go ahead and click on backup. We want to create a new backup job. Here's the backup job wizard. Go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call mine Minecraft Backup. It has a default location here where the backup is going to be saved. I recommend if you're going to do this on a regular basis, you may want to back it up to an external thumb drive or, or a network attached storage drive rather than on your main system drive. And that's the, in the event your system drive ever crashes, you'll still be able to recover those files from another drive. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to keep the default, but I will type in Minecraft backup here. Just note the location. It's going in the public folder. Click on Next. Now we're going to choose the Minecraft folder to back up. You can add as many folders in here as you want. Minecraft, the world save files and the configuration files are all stored in one location. And we're going to go ahead and add that now. So click on Add Folder. Now, if you have your um, hidden files shown, you should be able to see them under your username. So go ahead and click on your username. And if you see app data in here, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A -A, then your hidden folders are shown. Mine are not. For this demonstration, I wanted to show you the possibility of not having those being shown so I can show you how to show them, if that makes sense. So the best thing to do here is just type in I'm sorry, select your username. Now we're not going to back all this up, but there's a little trick we can get to your Minecraft folder. So just click on your username, click OK. And as you can see here, it says OK. Well, it's got a check mark next to it. It's going to back up my entire Paul folder. I don't want to do that. So open that folder up with that plus. And now here you'll see everything that's going to be backed up. And now we can pick and choose what we really want. So I'm going to uncheck that and it automatically unchecks everything in the tree beneath it. So right now, nothing would be backed up. I'm going to open up App Data. 
like so and roaming so open up roaming by clicking on the plus and bingo there it is minecraft put a check next to minecraft so now we're only going to be backing up the minecraft folder the backup program f backup is going to ignore everything else that's really all we care about go ahead and click next now what type of backup do you want to run we're just going to run a full backup there's also a mirror which is like a syncing process but we're not going to do that we're just going to do full we don't need a password going to click on next you can schedule this backup daily weekly or monthly I do recommend that maybe run it on a daily basis or a weekly basis but for this demonstration we're just going to do a manual backup one quick backup right now click on save and it says do you want to just save it or do you want to save and run well let's just go ahead and save and run it and F back is F backup is going to go into its run mode and it tells you right here what's going on destination is a local hard drive to the folder that I defined the backup type is full and down here it tells you that it's preparing the shadow copy and to be patient please wait and there it goes it's now adding all of the files under the file that we chose to back up which is dot minecraft now depending on the number of world files you have for your game in minecraft it may take some time okay so then it says here last backup was successful very good and it gives you the date and that's for this all your backups will be listed here you can have more than one if you want to create a new backup to back up your documents or your pictures or something this is a fine program for that and they will be listed here just give them a different name and that's it now if you ever want to restore it if something gets mucked up with your world files or your minecraft jar and, and the reason i'm doing this backup tutorial is i'm starting to do some mod tutorials to show you how to install mods and when you start installing mods and modding your minecraft it can get a little tricky and sometimes things can go sour now to restore that let's say something went bad and now I want to restore it so you click on the restore button you know, make sure this is chosen first over here the backup that you want to restore and just keep all the defaults use the original location so it goes back into the folder that we saved from and restore the latest version of all files and just hit finish now if I do this now it's just going to overwrite what's already there in fact it even says you sure there's stuff there already yeah, so yeah that's alright just restoring back the way it was and that's pretty much it F backup is again it's very simple but it works really well and the best thing is it is free you can upgrade they do have an upgrade to the full version if you want more features so there you have it that's how to back up your minecraft folder using the free F backup program I hope you enjoyed this tutorial have a good day bye bye and bye-bye.